Well, I lost the first sound, so this is sound two. Uh, this is a good place to talk about other factors of carving as opposed to just block printing here. I mean, this is a good place for you beginning carvers to learn and uh, execute those those skills and easy build uh, is in the linoleum block print uh, block cuts because a small piece of wood would work the same this is just a little bit more consistent through and through and uh, an excellent place for a beginning carver to start plus you end up with a print that becomes uh, graphic art it can be reproduced over and over again as long as you don't ruin the block and this one, what I'm doing is I'm chasing the the object around as opposed to chasing the tool around my edges. Uh, many of you craftsmen will know when you're building something like this. Uh, tinsmith guys will understand this. Uh, some of the clay people understand how you have to spin your material. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm also keeping my fingers out of the way of the flow of that blade. Uh, it's a good way to get cut these knives are awfully sharp so could be a yeah, nasty cut and this is one of the things I was talking about is dealing with the a lot of detail you got to figure out how you're gonna set it off and then those cross hatching lines I have coming into those flames you got to be really careful uh, that you don't go too hard or too fast and come across and remove a flame so I'll set up a deep gouge around the flames themselves as a stop point, we hope. And this is like an eight minute, 13 second video but I wanted to capture all of the aspects of carving this this uh, image out just to show that you guys can anyone can do this and uh, do it under a, an hour and have a, a carving or a reproducible image ready to go to print and they do sell a little carving tools specifically for these blocks I have a set somewhere around here I need to locate them and I'll show them to you guys maybe in another video maybe I'll re-edit one of these but uh, I kind of prefer my own little my hand tools now this is a no-no carving pointing at you but I'm an expert so it's okay for me to do that And you can do micro cuts too, little tiny ones, but I, I find that they can get filled with ink and then it transfers over to the image. And I've got a big, heavy, fat, heavy hand, so I like to go nice and hard and set the lines off. But again, this is free. You could do whatever you want when you, you're making your own block. Again, for you beginning carvers, this would be an excellent place. I would I would advise to do this actually before carving in any kind of wood if you've never used a tool. And and it's really great because you can use one simple profile, which is the V tool, and uh, complete an image. So it's very cost effective as well as being, I think, supremely efficient as a artistic medium.
taking extra care around those flames and a little nick or two won't hurt I mean it adds detail sometimes stuff happens on the print medium and itself and it causes errors I like them I like the irregularities of a piece of block print actually none none not one will come out the same so from print to print even coming from the same blocks that really excites me a lot done but he's not happy so I'll do some perpendicular hatchings and make it more like a spider web or a whatever netting behind it it's just too similar to the one that I have It's done. And thanks for watching, and I hope this has been helpful. show the one that you can't see because I've used it too many times printing and I